Well, hello there. New Milan Design here with the first video in a new series called uh, Luminate Video Tutorials. In this video, I'll be showing you how I set up my clips for the final render, which for the first time comes in uh, 4K resolution. Now, uh, the final render is in a separate video uh, for which you can find the link in the uh, top right corner because if I recorded everything in 4K, the file would be uh, simply too large and very difficult to work with. So if you're only interested in the final render, that's where you need to go. And for the rest of you, uh, the link will be at the end of uh, this video. Now this video will focus on explaining things like uh, camera movement, uh, angles, depth of field, uh, object movements, and uh, so on. So if you're interested in a full render settings, you need to head to before and after section, uh, which a link will be uh, again in the top right corner. Uh, and I post it as soon as I am uh, finished with it. Right, today we'll be working with this uh, modern contemporary house, which I call the Monument Valley House, as uh, its setting is trying to emulate uh, Monument Valley in uh, southern Utah. First thing what I do uh, when I actually uh, prepare, prepare creating my, my clips for the final render is I choose the song. I need to know the length of the, of the song and also the, the beat so it's easier for me to calculate how many clips I'm going to need and also approximately uh, how long. So that's what I do uh, first. And now we can move on to uh, selecting uh, our clips for today's uh, video. Now, hold on, we don't need that. Okay, so here is our, our first clip. Don't worry about the cars. The cars are actually set up for, for the other clips as well. I didn't want to uh, move them all the time around. So we are starting with uh, our first wide shot uh, clip of the valley. We have our car in here, which obviously will be moving along the road, uh, like so. And we are moving uh, our camera down the valley and we end up showing uh, our house with a little bit of, uh, of the background behind it. Let's have a look at the depth of field. We start, uh, as you can see, the dots in here are key uh, keyframes for our depth of field. So we start the distance 37 meters, which is the distance uh, of our car from the lens. So you keyframe on your car and as we move along, we end up focused on our house. As you can see, 173 meters. So uh, our, our house is nice and, nice and sharp. So that's pretty easy to do. Nice opening shot, moving along the valley, finishing on our house. Moving on to our second clip, which is also a wide angle shot, but we change the movement of the, of the camera. So we're going to be orbiting the, the camera around this uh, a big rock and revealing our, our house at the end of the valley. Uh, in here we focus uh, directly on our house and we keep the, the background and our house nice and sharp. We can blur. Uh, the foreground a little bit as you can see in here the slider is moved to the foreground and the focus distance is 200 meters which is the distance of our house from from our camera now we are changing things a little bit we're moving to a medium shot as you can see in here we'll be uh, following the action of of car movement now this is a little more tricky uh, to do because uh, our car is moving quite fast and as you can see I have uh, quite a lot of uh, keyframes in here and those are the, the, the focusing keyframes. So if we want to keep our car nicely in focus you need to go, uh, as you can see it is, it is winding and the distance of the car is changing, the distance from the lens is changing so you have to um, also put a lot of uh, keyframes on your timeline to keep the car nicely in focus. The, the foreground and the background is, uh, is blurred a lot. As you can see, the amount of blur is uh, quite, uh, quite high. 
So we make the car and our, or our object uh, pop out of the picture and your focus, your sight is uh, directly on the car. So the movement of the car nicely out of the shot and that's pretty much uh, what we're going to do uh, with this shot in here. Moving on to our next shot. Here we have uh, first in the, in the beginning of our shot the the main object is this this rock and we're going to be moving through the hole and end up focusing on our house and also the background uh, nicely in focus so your keyframe in the beginning depth of field there we go your keyframe on the main rock in the foreground in the beginning of your of your clip and then as we move along you can see we end up our, our uh, second keyframe, the distance changes and focuses on our house. So that's the effect we're looking for in here, along with the movement of, of the camera. Next stop, we have a clip of our car coming to, to the garage of the house. And at the same time, we are revealing our house and the valley behind it, the nice uh, view uh, from the house uh, and opening onto the valley in uh, in front of it. So let's have a have a look on our depth of field. Again, we keyframed in the beginning. We are focused on uh, on our house, and as we move along, we shift our focus a little bit on on the valley in front of the house and the background as well. As you can see, in. Uh, Let's keep the, the foreground a little bit in the blur, it's a little too much. And the house as well, but the main focus will be now on the background and the valley in front of the house. Now we are, with this shot or clip, we are revealing a little bit more of the house, going through the, the corridor in here and showing the, the pool area as well as the, as the valley in, in the front of it. So we are starting our focus, let's have a look. We are starting our focus uh, on the portions in here on the walls of, of the house. So they are nice and, nice and focused. And we are moving out and shifting our focus as well. The distance is uh, staying in here, is it five, around seven meters on the, on the pool area. And the, the foreground is blurred a little bit which means the the background will be nice and uh, and sharp and in the focus so we can see uh, the valley and the pool area nicely in uh, focus our next clip in here we are using uh, a panning shot again revealing our our pool area or or a yard along with the, with the portion of the valley and the dominant rock in the, in the background. Let's have a look what we did with the depth of field. In here, our focus starts on this lady with the, with the cell phone. And as you can see, as soon as we hit the keyframe in here, the focus starts shifting on our, on our objects in here around the pool and the palm tree and the whole, uh, whole pool area of our house and that's how you end up the shot. So nice panning shot uh, onto, onto our pool area. In here, here are the settings. Focusing distance 28 meters, that's about the, the pool area from, from the lens. We're moving to, to the next, uh, next clip. In here, we, uh, we dollying actually the, the camera from uh, right to left. We have a couple of uh, people in here, so the, the shot looks nice and uh, alive. As you can see, nice steady movement, the same height uh, from right to left. And the depth of field, you can already tell, uh, it's focused on our, our objects and the main uh, portion of the house which we want to have in focus. So there you have it, 11 meters and the amount of, of blur and the, the shift is on the, on the foreground, uh, foreground. So the, the focus area will be background and the blurry area will be in the foreground. We move to, um, 
to our next clip. We are focused a little bit more now on the main portion of the house and as well as the interior of the house and we have our main object in here. So it is another dolly shot of the main, uh, main porch or a terrace of the, of the house. As you can see the depth of field, the focus is on our main object as well as uh, is our interior. So the focus and distance is pretty short and you can see the, the foreground nicely blurred, the amount of blur in here and the background and the main object will be, will be in, uh, in our focus. So we end up with a nice dolly shot in here. And let's move on to our last shot or our last clip. We start in here in the, in the center area of the house and we will be craning out to be able to reveal the, the whole house as well as the, the portion of, uh, of the valley uh, behind, uh, behind the house. It's a nice, nice closing uh, shot which you can end up with a um, blur or um, a fade into to black, whichever you choose. But you start in the center of your of your uh, house, or you can you can call it in here a pool area. Uh, our main focus is let's have a look. Our main focus in here, I believe, it is on on these objects. Yes, in uh, in the center of the shot. Uh, you can use the, the autofocus in here since you're going to be moving away and it will automatically measure the distance from, uh, from your object and in that case you don't have to key keyframe uh, your focus distance on your timeline. So we choose the amount, foreground obviously in, the, in the blurry and when you zoom out, actually it's not zooming out, you're craning out of your, your camera, you can see the background and the main portion of your, of your house is still nicely in uh, focus and the foreground is slightly out of focus. So this is a nice uh, wide angle uh, ending shot for, uh, for your final, final render. Thanks for watching, stay well and stay creative.